Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolgan, I'm back with another video in the last video. Today, Pia's final info is finally here. So, we're gonna talk about Pia, Housekeeper Pia. Everyone, the unit's so good. Jugalia spent two months hyping up, which I realized uh, after I had recorded it, because I realized that uh, the previous This Month in Jugalia, which was for uh, February, talked about they were releasing Pia. And then the start of the March one talked about releasing Pia. <laughs> Two, the unit, this unit has been long awaited. Long have we waited. Finally activated. Pia's here. So let's go into it. Let's see what she does. First of all, let's get some stuff out of the way real quick. Prize showcases are never a reason to summon. If you only would summon on this, if you absolutely love and need Housekeeper Pia, that's the only reason you should summon on this. Prize showcase is a lie. It's actually built here to make you think you're getting things better than when you get, and it's just not true. Next, she's not limited. She's uh, everyone was assuming she was a Valentine's Day unit, but Valentine's Day was, let's see here now, over two weeks ago. <laughs> the year is there was no Valentine's unit this year, so no limited unit, which is weird. I think that's the, the first sign of things have changed in Jugalia is that there's no limited Valentine this year. Crazy to think about, but yeah, that's the way it is. Anyway, Housekeeper Pia, let's go. Heart of Devotion, shareable 7. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts frostbite, and lowers the frostbite resistance. Also grants all teammates in front of the user a shield, and if the three teammates are located in front of the user, restores the user's HP. Damage is 1,800 over 1 hit, 200 over 6 hits. And now let's move on to shiny and new. The user temporary is temporarily assumes a counter stance and creates a buff zone behind them that lasts for the duration of the stance and reduces damage taken. Uh, if the user is hit by an attack while in the stance, the skill will uh, deal damage to enemies directly ahead, dispel one buff from each target, and partially fill the skill gauges of all of all teammates, uh, excluding the user and dragons. If the user is not hit by an attack while in this skill's counter stance, this skill will dispense one buff for each surrounding target and partially fill the skill gauges of all teammates, including the user and dragons. Wait, the user and dragons? Huh. Maybe it only applies to dragons who are... Huh. Yeah. The only dragons who can actually have their skill gauge filled? D okay. Being energized will not upgrade this skill. <laughs> okay. There's no way to energize her, so... Damage 5,000 over 1 hits. Spells buff, 60% damage reduction, skill prep, co ability, skill haste 15%, chain co ability, team defense and be cold flame resistance 60%, defense 20%, stun resistance 100%, deepest dedication 2, grants the entire team a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 2 when the user's HP is restored after activating this ability to reactivate again for 20 seconds. Okay, so very easy to get defense amp because you just heal her and do that every 20 seconds pretty easy and she has a way to heal herself so pretty easy to just kind of get it keep it going but not level three so you can't get it to the final level which i hate i really don't like it when it's it's there's already a limit of 20 seconds that for you to activate it again and then it only goes to level two may as well just make it level three if you're gonna put 20 seconds uh cooldown on it so, how is she? Uh, she seems perfectly fine. Yeah, nothing I'd probably summon for unless you were a huge, big fan of Pia. Um, this ability right here, the Heart of Devotion, it being able to lower Frostbite resistance is gonna be pretty nice whenever there is a... Here's the thing, is it, it, it's a nice effect. It is nice. It being a 7 cost shareable is maybe a little bit too much for a lot of people, but maybe it's because it just does so much, because it grants all teammates in front of the user a shield, and also three teammates that are located in front of the user restores the user's HP. It just does a lot, so maybe they're like, well, we have to make it 7 because it just does so much, but I think that, I don't know, it just feels like it costs too much to actually want to use unless you were, I guess, unless you were, um, uh, Gala, Gala, Terrible brother, I can't remember his name. Uh, Gala, bad, terrible boy, bad boy, terrible boy. He's a meal. There you go. <laughs> I eventually got it, which he is right there in the background. Uh, and, and I think it also, also kind of works. Sounds like it works similar to uh, Emil's AI, where it would go in front of the user. So uh, maybe this unit was kind of built as a way to get another shareable skill that kind of works with him on him. But I don't know. 
Uh, the rest of her, she sounds pretty... I like this ability here because it actually removes a buff and you don't have to actually hit the enemy, even if it misses, which is pretty cool. And it also fills skill gauges of teammates and drag. Excluding the user and dragons. Oh, I'm so stupid. Excluding. I thought it said including. Um, I'm stupid. Alright, now I understand it. Uh, so yeah. She seems like a perfectly fine unit. It's a little bit weird because we don't have the next hard thing for, uh water it's coming up pretty soon with with uh mim coming at the end of the month and in theory if i was a developer of dragalia i would make it so that pia would be kind of needed or would be extremely good for that fight but without us actually knowing what the fight does we have to base pia on what we can currently do and what the current fights are available and she probably do fine in them um but she probably wasn't <laughs> probably not it wouldn't make you go faster or do anything else. I don't know. That's what I'm currently feeling on her, which is a shame because if she was insanely broken, I would have loved it and I would have gladly summoned. But with the anniversary coming literally at the end of the month, the 3.5, you're going to have to either choose the skip or if you're a big PF fan, go ahead and go for her. If you do summon for her, I wish you the best of luck because I like that uh, I've, gone, I've grown attached to Pia for some reason. It's really funny to think about, like, of all the units in Dragalia, Pia is maybe the most... <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of people championing Pia at the moment, considering that she still has only one unit, and the unit is a... Um, is it a four-star or a three-star? It wasn't bronze, it was a silver. Um, so three... yeah, three... three-star. Um, released early, early on in the game and still has not received a spiral of any kind. Uh, pretty funny to think about that her <laughs> she's a unit so old they never even bothered to give her a spiral back when they were giving spirals to old units like crazy like like free candy they were basically handing it out and Pia never got her time to shine but I think now she's gonna have some time to shine as I really do hope for the um, the mem fight coming at the end of the month that she's just like super needed for it because I think it'd be really funny I'm not here for someone to tell you like, oh man, uh, every unit should be absolutely amazing and everything, but in order to justify a unit who is not limited, you really do have to kind of have some, uh, it's not enough to just be like, cause I like Pia, but she's not on MIM levels for me, so I'm not going to go crazy. If, it is, if this was a MIM, there would be no question about what I'm doing, I'm summoning. That's just the way I go. And Pia's like maybe one or two levels under it, where she's not an instantly summon. She's a, I really hope she's good, cause if she is, I'm going to summon type of character um that's two levels below one level below is i'm not going to summon but i really like this character and they're really good i'm going to use, i'm going to actually spend real do real deal dollars to buy them from when the the dream ticket goes on sale that's basically the tears in my head as how it goes and then any unit under that is basically whatever i get them when i can get them but yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you ended up liking the video, feel free to leave a like, comment about whatever the hell you want to talk about, and I'll see you guys night in the next video. You guys have a good night, have a good day, and I'll see you another day. Bye. Bye-bye.